Tupac, right? I know Master P and Tupac was real, real cool, man. But um, I heard a story, man, that the first time you met Tupac, he was mean mugging you, and you felt a type of way about it. Give me the backstory behind that. Oh yeah, now nah, it it was it was just mad love. It was more like um, I didn't know, like I I knew of Pac, but I didn't really know. But I like I told you before with the song that I had created, well I was on, um, it was like it was blowing up. Like I didn't know I was still in, I maybe still in high school or just just about to leave out of high school, and um, and it's crazy because I just didn't know I was just still in kind of like one foot just kind of hustling a little bit on the side. And but I I knew everybody in the community, the, the music community in the Bay Area was like, you doing your thing? Because I remember shout out to Sally Sale. He can't he had did a verse with me. It was just a lot of people trying to do verse with me. I was like off of this one song, but they kind of felt it. And it was just bubbling out in the in the in the city. And then I I know that E40, I think, had did a the video, and I think um it maybe Spice One was there, but I know Pac was there. And I just was he, you know, they was looking at me. But I found out later that it was more like um, they had just was playing the song that I was on, and it was and it was all jamming to it. So it was kind of like you know they just saw me and it was listening to me, and it was just cool. It was all love. It was just like I was looking at him like, "What you looking at me for?" And it was kind of a back and forth thing. But it wasn't nothing, no, no, no problem. It was just more of like, I he was shit, like kind of if I was saw somebody, if I see like somebody I just got finished rocking, I kind of like probably be like, "Oh man." And no, none of us said anything, so it was kind of like, I ain't going to say nothing to you. You ain't going to say nothing to me. And it was, it was kind of dope. It was cool. If somebody looking at you, you like, man, what you looking at? That's, that's, that's how the whole thing was in the, in, the, in, the, in the Bay Area where I was from. It's like, like man, why are you looking at me? Like, I, I ain't looking at you. you know. But, but kind of like, that's what it was. It wasn't, I didn't feel any type of way. I was more like, what you looking at? Well, what you looking at <laughs> type of thing. And it was cool. But yeah, that was, that was pretty much it. It wasn't, well, back then I probably was thinking like, um, you know, like, uh, yeah, yeah, I probably have a problem with somebody looking at me because at that time I was just more on the lines of I was young and wild, you know what I'm saying? And so, so that was probably it. But, um, but as far as that, that wasn't, that wasn't like that. That was more of a, um, just kind of stare down a little bit and then kind of find out what it was, was kind of dope. You know what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah. Did y'all chop it up after that? Uh, no, we, like I, no, we didn't, we didn't, but I was supposed to be in some places that it probably was, but then I was so like a homebody that I didn't go out. Um, cause I was invited to all the little, the little, the music circus and I was young too. So, um, but I didn't really go to go out a lot. You know what I'm saying? I was so to myself trying to get bread, trying to make stuff happen. That was, that was pretty much it. Yeah. Cause I do know him and P had a relationship. If I'm not mistaken, I think P he went on tour with Tupac mm -hmm, a few times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, he uh, they did. Um, him, I think P and C. I was supposed to go, um, but I was. I think at the time, man, I wasn't. I think I wasn't. I was doing music, but I was really just minding my own, doing my own thing. So I don't think I went. I was supposed to go out on a few of the shows, but uh, I was doing so much other stuff. I don't kind. I can't even remember honestly. Yeah. But they did. They did go on the road a couple of dates. Um, they had a couple of shows, so yeah, it was it was cool. And I think C was there too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Speaking of C Murder, right? Was he influenced by Tupac? I think he had a lot of respect, um, and he appreciated Pac a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I think that um, they probably could see a lot of themselves in each other. Like you know, like C would be, you know, because Pac would stand on like you know what he believed in. You know what I'm saying? And see the same thing. C is a C is a dude that um, you know, people like him because he he will, you know, do you know, he will stand up for certain stuff. He will um, you know, have your you know, he'll just he'll be somebody that people depend on. And I think Pac was the same way. People he stood on what he believed in. Um, he helped a lot of people out, you know what I'm saying? So that's kind of like probably the influence that C would probably say from Pac for sure. Yeah. You could hear it in his music, man. That's the reason why I asked you that. You could tell that he's influenced by him. Yeah. Absolutely. No doubt. No doubt. I could see that. No, I see sometimes it felt that way. It also, but Pac was passionate. He was he had that delivery. And I think that when you when you really respect somebody and, and, and look up to somebody like that, yes, you're gonna get some stuff that's influential like that. You might hear some stuff come across like that because, you know, it's just it's it's, it's it's inevitable, you know what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah.